Blessed, most merciful Honey Father, Lord, I come before you humbly, Lord, and I beg, I beg and I plead, Lord, that you give me the courage, the will, the words, the wisdom to speak, that you put in my heart to speak, Lord. I pray in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. I am only the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing, the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven, and I am God's dirt. I took a nap a while ago. When I went to lay down, it was storming, lightning, thundering. It was raining hard, just coming down in sheets. But I just felt so tired, sleepy, so I laid down, took a nap. Uh, I had a dream. And I dreamed that my, my cell phone was ringing. And when I woke up, I looked over at it and then I realized that I was dreaming. But I looked at the alarm clock and, and it said, uh, it said 444. And I knew that was prophetic. And I, I remembered it, but I turned over and went back to sleep. Well, then I, I woke up and then my alarm clock said 555. Now 444, according to the Bible, 444 is, is a symbol, uh, symbol, symbol, symbolic for change, truth and faith and personal character. And then there's this. If you've been seeing 444 in your daily life or in your dreams, it is not a mere coincidence. The angelic number 444 tells you that uh, your connection with the angels and the angelic realm is powerful. And that you can trust the guidance that they are giving you. And then 555 is strength and stronger. God's grace, blessing is through Jesus Christ who died for the people's sins. And the angelic number 555 is a symbol of mercy and grace. And if you're seeing 555, this is a sign from your guardian angel that the grace of God is upon you. believe that these were messages given to me by God I also want to tell you about my new book I, it's titled the tribulation now the Holy Spirit moved upon me to write this book and I, I have not written a book in, in several years but the Holy Spirit told me to write this book and and so I I, I did as I was told but I, I prayed on it and I says Lord I says I, I didn't think I had enough time to write a book and the Holy Spirit told me to hurry. So I hurried and I hurried and I, I wrote this book in, in a hurry. And I go through all of my dreams, the major ones. Because to be honest, I've, I've just had so many dreams of the tribulation that, that it's impossible. It would be impossible to recall every single dream. But now I, I wrote this book has a lot of new information in it a lot of stuff that's not not in videos and it's it's over 180 pages and it's available as either a download uh, a soft copy in other words a paperback book or it's available now in a new hard hardback hard book and that's all available from the same link and you can find that link down below in the description all of this and being told to hurry all of this is just a reminder should be a reminder for all of us that our time here is so very short so very short and it's just we all need to be prayed up we all need to be rapture ready I, get, I woke up I, I actually I had trouble getting to sleep last night so I got up got out of bed because I, I was just tossing and turning and something compelled me to read the book of Daniel so it's a short chapter I, I read the, the full book on Daniel and I was blessed by reading Daniel and then when I went back to my bedroom to go back to bed 
I got on my knees at the foot of my bed. And for me to get on my knees is, is extremely difficult, and it's even worse getting up. I can barely walk. I can barely walk. So for me to get on my knees, and then today I got this. It, it pays. It pays to be in prayer. It pays to thank God for your, for your blessings, no matter what they are. We all have blessings. Our next breath is a blessing from God. The next beat of our heart is a blessing from God. We all have blessings. We all have blessings. But we all need to be thankful for our blessings and give, give God the thanks that he deserves. And we all need to be have a repentant heart. We all need to be washed in the blood. And we all need to believe. We all need to believe that Jesus Christ was the Son of God. Sent to save us from ourselves and from the evil. So, God bless you. God keep you and yours safe is our prayer. And every single one of you are a blessing sent by God to us. And we thank God for you. God bless you and God keep you in his loving arms just like he held me. Just like he held me. And we love you all so very much.